Hola, Gemini's. Welcome to your love reading for March 2024. I hesitated there for a little while. If it resonates, consider a personal free record or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me. Oh, I'm being a mess with these cards. Um, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Friend of ours, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Gemini's for love for March 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Make them closer to the universe and closer to the divine. Can you please show me the love energy as the Gemini passed out of prior to? We have the two of emotions in the upright, which is comparable to the Two of Cups in the traditional deck. Um, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, and that spread will have something you do not know about them, and if they're interested in or seeing somebody else. For March, we have Awakening in the upright, which is comparable to the Judgment card in the traditional deck. In my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings, 2023s are still in there. See if they ran true for you. And we end on the Night of Voices in the upright. Alrighty. Uh, and then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. It's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Okay, so it looks like prior to March, with the two of emotions in the upright, you're really vibing with someone. I mean, the two of emotions in the upright is about somebody who you were having a harmony with on an emotional level. Um, pretty much the yin to your yang, somebody who absolutely um, mirrors your soul, uh, unity, partnership, um, happiness, all that good stuff. An incredible connection, basically. I often think of it as the card of uh, soulmates, twin flames, um, the one, whatever title, whatever uh, labels you prescribe to that I don't tend to. I believe in the one you choose. But um, at any rate, so things are going really well. You feel like you have met your person prior to March. In March, it looks like with the awakening, um, what we have is this, I, I think through the experience uh, that you're having with this person, you're making it a point to kind of evaluate the situation, look at it with eyes wide open. Uh, you don't want to, I feel like you don't want to have your head in the clouds. You don't want to idealize the situation. You want to see it for exactly what it is if you make the decision to actually move forward. So you're reflecting on the, uh, the relationship, like I said, assessing it. And after doing so, it's almost as though you're going to have this light bulb moment um, where you're going to kind of decide to move forward with this person or not. And and not have and release any regrets or any issues or anything you may have and just say this is it it's go time and move forward very clearly in your own truth now what's interesting is after you do that and after march i feel as though this person's going to tell you something and it's something you probably weren't aware of but believe me is 100 percent truthful when it is the night of voices and the upright um just being very forthright probably not sugarcoating it but as a result of whatever it is they're telling you it's really going to kind of clear the pipe so to speak um it's sort of like when you pull the the plug out of a tub and all the water just like goes down it's not stopped up anymore um um, and I, I'm, I haven't pulled clarifiers yet, but it is going to take you aback. You are going to be surprised by it. I don't think you're expecting it. Um, I don't know whether it's negative or positive yet because I haven't pulled the clarifiers. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. So why is the two of emotions here in the upright for Gemini's energy is prior love energy is prior to March? Does this person wants this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay, we have a Hierophant card in the reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reversed, and we also have the Two of Cups in the upright. So um, the thing that the two of you might actually have in common is the two of you, it could be divorced, the two of you came out of a long-term commitment. I feel as though with the Hierophant card in reverse, which is the card of Taurus, that's an indicator um, that the two of you might have been in very long relationships um, and you came out of them. Um, another thing the two of you might have in common is that you, as a result of coming out of those connections, you may not be in the best financial position. I feel as though you guys are getting back on your feet. So for some reason, I feel like this is commonality that you share in your converse we're sharing in your conversations and talks and it just made it seem like you had that much more in common so you guys are really clicking on that level um why is the awakening here in the upright here's this person what's this energy additional messages the awakening could very well be this is your oh, 
so okay uh you might some of you might find out you're pregnant um or that you've gotten somebody pregnant with the Empress card in the upright. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, there's this awakening. Uh, for others of you, you might want to consider. You might be trying to consider if you can um, uh, coexist with this person or have this life with them, where you're the nurturer, the person taking care of the home, and things of that nature, and um, the other person is the provider who um, is financially supporting you, capable of providing you um, financial security and things of, of that measure. Especially if you're pregnant, you are going to be wondering if this person is going to have the money to be able to provide for you. And I think they will be able to with the King of Pentacles and the upright. So I feel as though if they were having money problems before, they're really getting back on their feet or have gotten back on their feet in March. And with the Five of Cups in reverse, I'm seeing something going on here in regards to loss. I do not think it's loss of a child or a miscarriage or anything like that. Um, I mean, it could be a very small percentage of you. It could be that. I know the minute I pull that, everyone's like, oh my God. But I, honestly, I'm not getting the sense that that's what it is. I'm feeling as though there's something amiss. Um, I don't know. It's, it's almost a longing to wish that something could be redone. A disappointment of some sort, some kind of sorrow, some sort of sadness, but I can't exactly say what it is. And I think that this might be factoring, everything might be factoring in here to this decision that you're going to make or this judgment as you move forward um, with this awakening card. So I'm really curious to see what this Knight of Voices is. Why is this Knight of Voices here in the upright for Gemini's as they move out of March into April? We have the star card in the upright which is the card of Aquarius. Additional messages, please. We have the two of wands in the upright. And then we also have the, um, the nine of cups in the reverse. So a few things going on here. I mean, I, I feel like whatever this connection is, it's definitely bringing some challenge. I don't know what the challenge is, but I do see that you're kind of saying to yourself, given this news or whatever was kind of told to you that you do feel like it's something you can work through you've you've hope you have faith and and you think the two of you are resilient enough to kind of like go through this adversity whatever it is as the two of you move forward i do see with the two of wands in the upright having this decision of of kind of continuing to do things the way that they were because they're very comfortable and they're predictable and things like that, or deciding to change things up. Um, new solutions, new visions, new, new way of looking at things. And I do see you having that consideration, but not putting anything into action yet because you kind of want to see where things are going before you do decide to, to kind of um, switch gears and, and do something entirely new um, in this relationship. And with the Nine of Cups in reverse, I mean, typically, you know, that's the narcissist card, but I'm not getting that necessarily from this. Um, again, I feel as though, I feel as though there was you were disappointed again in some way. I feel like whatever you were told, um, it just was a disappointment of some sort. You had really high expectations for this person. You're really kind of expecting something. Whatever they told you, while you do appreciate them being truthful, it really it was like a punch in the gut, I feel. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't put my finger on what it is. That's going to have to be something for you guys to resolve but it really is kind of a freaky reading the way um it just seems like it just had like a whole bunch of information in it but nothing that was um a specific line that i can like delineate for you guys um so but that's what i have <laughs> so if it does resonate in this weird reading consider a personal pre-recorded live reading just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me six four six nine zero two five seven one five but definitely make sure you click on the vimeo link below for you your Vimeo reading, which is what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're interested in or seeing somebody else. In my playlist, your 2024 sun moon readings, 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, adios, Geminis. I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Bye.